to give the oration, and I'm English, I'm pleased to present Zay Girard. Your Majesty, King Abdullah II, Your Excellencies, esteemed guests, parents, faculty, staff, and the graduating class of 2013. This is it. This is the moment we've been awaiting for four years. Four years of hard work. Four years of sleepless nights. Four years of dreams and aspirations. Four, four years of dreams and aspirations. But this is not the end of our journey. This is just the beginning. It is impossible for me or anyone sitting here to forget the first day we came here to Kings and compare it with this magnificent day. We all have changed, and we have changed for the better. I still remember my first day here. I was nervous and worried that I wouldn't fit into this new community. The King's Academy idea was uh, novel and a bit bizarre to me at the beginning, so much that I couldn't imagine how a group of extremely unlike and different people would actually come together and function properly. I was now going to school with students from places like Irbid and Karak, and even places as far away as Korea and Nigeria. It seemed like a puzzle made from unmatched pieces. It just didn't seem to work in my mind. But uh, what, I have to uh, what I have come to learn is that the class of 2013 can be described as a mosaic. We first came here as scattered pieces, everyone different, from different backgrounds, different thoughts, and different beliefs. Over the past four years, each of the colorful, diverse pieces that make up the class of 2013 have been, art have been artfully placed to create the masterpiece mosaic we see today. Those mosaic tiles did not come together haphazardly. Rather, they were honed, shaped, and carefully put together by our beloved teachers, uh, the hardworking staff, and of course, our families. I have come to learn and appreciate that this is how we were meant to be. My realization is affirmed as even the Holy Quran mentions it in an ayah that says, O mankind, we created you from a pair of a male and a female and made you into nations and tribes that ye may know each other, not that ye may despise each other. We are not the only ones who grew in this academy. As everyone who has lived at King's can attest, the academy in many ways has grown and emerged with us. We are in many ways in a different place now than we were four years ago. We even watched the trees grow as I still remember the first day I came here, when this fruitful tree was just a little bush, quite the metaphor for our lives. Today, I think back at the first day, and I laugh. I look at myself and all my other classmates, and I can confidently say that we are now stronger, more respectful, more fond of learning, and more responsible, and closer than ever to being global citizens. We have King's Academy and its five guiding principles to thank for that. Your Majesty, I can and with all certainty assure you that your vision has now come to reality. <laughs> King's Academy has taught us to be difference makers. We are here to approach uh, issues and problems differently and creatively. So there are perhaps no better words to explain what we learned here at King's than those of Emerson. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2013.
Thank you, Aya and Zed.